little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, Big Square RoadToRuda.com with your morning horn of Z's Your sip of chaga copy Oh, big day, big day <clears throat> Big 24 hours on Road to Ruta and with Theta. Theta is becoming um, more and more seen as the only cryptocurrency you need. <laughs> Theta can do everything now. The announcement yesterday, I'll get to it in one second. Everybody who's joined the Road to Ruta has taken the time to learn a little bit about Theta. Bought some Theta, stored some Theta, staked some Theta, are reaping the rewards. Of smart decisions. How long have we been screaming about this? Since the very beginning. And what? Under 10 cents. Most of the Road Ruta members got it at under 10 cents. It's going to $3,000, my friends. $3,000. <clears> it's just not a number I'm pulling out of thin air. It's a number Michelle White Dove pulled out of thin air. But on the Road to Ruta, we explain how to get there. And it, it is becoming more and more obvious that Theta is the new internet. Theta is the new Ethereum. Theta is the new DeFi. Theta is the new everything. It's crazy, I know. All cryptocurrencies are down in the last 24 hours, except Theta and Theta Fuel. Now there's a couple that pop their heads up, but they were down a lot. Why, here's why. Theta Mainnet 3.0 just announced. This is kind of a surprise. You know, a lot of the things we were hoping for on the Road to Ruta page on the private road, I had a video talking about the future of Theta. It's right here. It's very top on the private road, the very top video. And I go through pricing stuff. We've already hit the Theta fuel pricing for the December. We haven't hit it yet for Theta. And I think it's coming which is at least a dollar. Keep an eye on that this month. Um, but I talk about the things in the future and why it is so important to humanity that Theta works and is widely used. It is extremely important because the internet, the broadband capacity is not there. We don't have it. And there's no way to fix it without trillions of dollars in investment. The Theta protocol, the Theta blockchain, fixes it all for free. That's why Samsung's in there. That's why Google's in there. If you have cryptos, or you have silver, or if you follow the road to root at all, you should have a substantial amount of Theta. For me, it's my number one holding by far now. By far. And no, I'm not going to sell it for silver. I got a holding in silver, and I'm just sticking to it. It's, silver's going to do great. All you silver lovers out there, hang on to your silver. Silver is the past. Silver is has been held down for 150 years, and we're going to come out of that price suppression. And that's going to be a moonshot for silver. Theta is the future. It's the next 150 years. And you have a chance to get it on the ground floor. Anyway, let's go over the announcement. Uh, this was announced just yesterday. Theta Mainnet 3.0 introducing T-Fuel staking and burning. T-Fuel staking, everybody was saying, well, why, why should I stake when Theta Fuel is not really used yet? It's not worth much. Theta Fuel, I think, went up 50% when this was announced. It's a way to incentivize, even more incentivize the um, sharing of bandwidth and a bunch of other things. Amazing stuff. Um, anyway, let me read it to you. We're thrilled to announce the next generation Theta blockchain. Theta Mainnet 3.0 projected to launch spring in 2021 will introduce T-Fuel staking and burning. The full Mainnet 3.0 white paper can be found here. I read the white paper. It's crazy. These guys are way too smart. These guys are doing everything that Bitcoin could have done in the beginning but chose not to. The core developers wanted to lock up Bitcoin. And that's why you have all these altcoins. And that's why Theta is like, Blowing away everybody right now as far as what they're doing. The use case for Theta and Theta Fuel is growing by the day. 
Oh, by the way, when they spring, they say spring 2021, I have an insider at Theta who said it's actually going to be April 21st is when they're shooting for it. I don't think they want to yell out that date yet, but that's what they're shooting for, April 21st. And that's why most likely Theta and T-Fuel are going to just explode between now and then. Not to mention right around the corner is smart contracts. And a bunch of other things. 1,000 Theta Fuel staking. Amazing stuff. Anyway, here's what they announced. Theta Labs launched its native blockchain purpose, built for peer-to-peer -peer video delivery in the spring of 2019 with Mainnet 2.0 in May 2020. We introduced Guardian Nodes, a revolutionary two-layer consensus mechanism to complement enterprise validator validators run by a premier set of global partners, including <coughs> Google. Samsung, Binance, Blockchain.com, and Gumi. Following Mainnet 2.0, the capability of the Theta Edge node network was significantly enhanced with the release of Theta's peer-to-peer -peer EdgeCast technology. This new decentralized technology stack adds the ability to capture live video, transcode it in real time, cache and relay live stream video data to users globally. All through Theta's P2P Edge network run by thousands of community members, not a centralized server or service is used in this pipeline. Additionally, the long-awaited Turing Complete smart contract support will be enabled on the blockchain on December 10th. That is huge for anybody programming in Ethereum or running their businesses, their, their uh, cryptos on the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum is struggling to introduce 2.0. It'll be at least two years to fully introduce, fully implement Ethereum 2.0. That's two years. That's that's a lifetime in, in cryptocurrency terms. And starting tomorrow, Theta can do everything that Ethereum can do, except much faster and practically free. So <clears throat> even if you diehard Ethereum lovers, um, even if you think, yeah, it'll never replace Ethereum, it's a great place to park your cryptocurrencies built on the Ethereum blockchain for cheap. I mean, literally, if Ethereum 2.0 is going to be so much better than everything in two years, why not for two years port out of the data blockchain? Does the same thing except cheaper and faster. And if in two years Ethereum gets their shit together, you know the story. And there are a lot of Ethereum coders, which, by the way, it's the same language they use for Theta, who are coming over to Theta. Um, here's an overview of what uh, Mainnet 3.0 is going to be. Uh, number one, they're upgrading to Elite Edge nodes. Will enable uptime mining, the tokenization of internet bandwidth and availabil availability. Users will be able to stake T-Fuel. There we go. This is how they're building the value of T-Fuel because it's very important that T-Fuel has good value so people stake Theta and run the edge nodes to, to share the broadband. That's the key. You got to run those edge nodes to share the broadband. There's got to be an incentive. That would be the Theta Fuel. And this is how they're upping the value of Theta Fuel. Uh, users will be able to stake T-Fuel to an edge node to upgrade to become an elite edge node. Um, edge node elite edge nodes can, one, earn Theta Fuel through their staking of T-Fuel, and two, earn additional T-Fuel from video platforms for delivering higher performance, basically just like they're doing now. Here's we have an, an increase in the quantity, and I want to talk about that because normally that's a bad thing. And right now... 5 billion data fuel were created with a 5% per year um, inflator from the beginning <clears throat> to pay out those who um, are staking theta and are running the edge node. They are increasing that by 2 to 4%. And you might think, oh, that's terrible. But they have another thing where they're, they're burning it as well. And if you think about it, they're going to need more and more T fuel as everybody moves on to theta. The new 2-4% to T-Fuel inflator for uptime mining for edge nodes will be introduced in addition to the ex existing 5% T-Fuel rewards. 
for validators and guardians. In the process of engaging with platform partners, it became clear to support an existing platform that may see over 1 billion logged in users per month, or even a smaller partner with tens of millions of subscribers, requires an edge delivery network that needs to scale to tens and hundreds of thousands of nodes globally to deliver premium service levels, uptime, and performance across all devices. Number two, new T-Fuel burning mechanism will add a cost for using the Theta Edge network, namely a network fee as a balancing force against the new T-Fuel supply. So they're going to create new T-Fuel and then they're going to burn it as people use it. <clears throat> Since Theta Network launched two years ago, we recognize that there is significant value accrued to video platform partners in the form of content delivery network. Right now, <clears throat> companies like um, Netflix and YouTube and Amazon, Amazon Prime and all that, they pay network providers to get their videos out there. Theta will do that for free. Not for free, but they're going to have to use um, T-Fuel to get on that network. Uh, let's see. Uh, increased user engagement and revenues resulting from shifting infrastructure costs to reward users. All these benefits accrue to the platform partner at effectively zero additional cost. So they're not going to be paying for it, but they will be burning it. They will be burning the T fuel. With Theta 3.0, a minimum of 25% of each T fuel payment to the Edge network will be burned at the protocol level, effectively becoming a cost for using the network. In the long run, the Theta's Edge networks become more widely adopted. This could meaningfully reduce the supply of Theta. And we all know supply and demand with Theta and Theta fuel. Reduce the supply of Theta fuel. Excuse me, I misspoke. So here's how it works. Go to um, medium.com, Theta Network. Medium.com has this, um, it's a the announcement and then the white paper. <clears throat> Basically what they're doing is they're giving more theta fuel to the edge node, people running the edge nodes. And then if they stake it, which brings it out of the supply demand equation, if they stake it, um, they earn even more. So yeah, great move. That's why T fuel was up 50% or something like that. When everything in cryptos was down. So check it, check it out. Again, this happens later in the spring. My little birdie within uh Who's in the know said it's April 21st is the day they're shooting for the introduction introduction of mainnet 3.0. Um, but you know we'll see. So far they've hit every deadline, beaten every everything they've even said. So that is why Theta is hanging tough at 73 cents, still up even though all the cryptos are getting smashed in the last couple of days. Um, and these will change. You know, an interesting thing to think about is um, Theta was introduced after, uh, in, at the beginning of 2018, after really the collapse of the, the crypto boom, the moonshot of cryptos in 2017. At the end of 2017, Theta didn't even participate. We don't even know what kind of high Theta can hit right now. So the next time that uh, cryptos start running again, where will Theta stop? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I have my projections on the private road. On the private road, I'll teach you how to buy Theta, even if you're in the U.S., especially if you're in the U.S., before you know, wait till Coinbase comes out and offers Theta and Theta Fuel. That's going to be insane. So right now you can get it, but it's a little more difficult. If you're interested in that, go to roadtoreader.com and click on the subscription page. Hit subscribe today. Well, by the way, all you people who are already on the, the private road and already have your Theta, Think about adding to it. Starting tomorrow, you can add to your Theta node uh, up to a minimum of 1,000 instead of 10,000 Theta. So there's nothing stopping you from growing your 10,000 Theta node to a 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 Theta node, or even buying Theta fuel directly. Because right now the ratio is about 45 to 1. That should change. Now, I had it changing over time, but with this new announcement, probably changed a lot faster. So... The only thing I'd say keep aware of is that Binance, the Binance Corporation, owns the vast majority of Theta Fuel that they got because they were the largest, besides Theta Labs, they were the largest Theta holder. So they got all this Theta Fuel. I think they stole their customers' Theta Fuel. They're the criminal organization, and they run the largest exchange. 
<laughs> just keep that in mind because <clears throat> they'll they'll whipsaw the price up 100% down 100% for Theta Fuel. It's very easy to do. With Theta, remember, every, everything's getting locked up. If you check out the Guardian Monitor, guardianmonitor.io, you can find out how much Theta Fuel has been staked already. And we are at 53 uh, 531,053,000 of Theta has been staked. And that will grow to 60%, 70%, 80%. It'll never hit 100%, I don't think. But remember, as, as Theta gets staked, that's less and less available to be sold and more and more people wanting to buy it. Keep an eye on that. Let's look at G Pool. See where we're sitting right now. Ooh, they have a new NP meter. I don't know what the NP meter is. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, wow. Look at G-Pool. It's just skyrocketing. Remember, it was like August that that on the road to Ruta, we were recommending use the G-Pool to run your node. You don't, have to, you don't have to run a node on your computer. Just use the G-Pool node. It was at 19, 17, 17 million tokens. Now we're at 72 million tokens. And... It, it gets a little confusing because a lot of these, these are hundreds of, of people with Guardian nodes, but it only counts as one Guardian node because it's a pooled account. So you look at the amount of Guardians, it says 1481, 1,481 are securing the network. It's actually a lot more than that, but they're pooled into the G pool. I don't think it's a problem yet. There will be, they're working on, uh, creating some kind of voting mechanism so that if there was something to vote on for uh, the blockchain, that individuals within Gpool could, could vote as well. Um, but it's much more secure than the 1481. I would say it's probably over 2,000, 2,000, maybe 3,000 uh, individuals involved in this uh, Guardian Node stuff. And a lot of Road to Ruta members, by the way, a hell of a lot of Road to Ruta members Again, go to rotorudo.com if you want to join. Hit subscribe today. I will send you 25 data and 25 data fuel already loaded on a paper wallet to your front door. That will change as as data goes up over um, a dollar twenty five. I think is where I, I said before it'll it'll get lower. I used to give away a hundred data and a hundred data fuel, and I used to give away 0 0.1 Bitcoin back in the day. That's how Road to Ruta members get uh, incentivized to join and renew every year. And many of them have done much, 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 much better than the cost of a one year subscription, which is $2.99 for a year, less than a dollar a day. All right, I have some very sad news. My friend, Jean-Claude at Beyond Mystic has been booted off of YouTube. Booted. Woke up this morning and found this on his account. This account has been terminated due to multiple or severe violations of YouTube's policy against spam deceptive practices and misleading content or other terms of service violations. First of all, none of that, none of that was Jean-Claude. He talked about spirituality, none of that stuff. So he's he's going to um, file a claim against him, try to get his channel back up. But he did something that YouTubers should not do. And this is a lesson to everybody. He was posting um, on YouTube. And then posting on, and I do this as well, on Patreon through the YouTube channel. And voila, you go over to Patreon and it says, video unavailable. So, <clears throat> hopefully he can get those all back or get some archive back up on um, on his channel. We'll see. Uh, but definitely send uh, your love to Jean-Claude. Um, no, he is not out of the game. It's, it's like everybody else, they're going to have to devise another way like bitcoin ben he's still on youtube and he's got like four other different avenues to post his videos these people are absolutely trying to destroy you freedom of speech has been gone from america for at least a couple of years now it is sad it is beyond pathetic that um the high-tech media companies have this kind of power and it needs to be taken away absolutely taken away um so Let's hope that uh, Trump wins this battle and the high-tech companies are uh, shown the door. It, the platform, I want the platform to uh, remain except the uh, senior management to be removed. And, and how can I say that? 
don't tell me it's a private uh, private company or privately owned. It was started by the CIA with their investment arm in Qtel. So your taxpayer money paid for that platform on YouTube, and having a government sponsored entity like YouTube should not be able to censor the the voice of the people. That's my take, God damn it. Pissing me off. All right. Again, if you want to join the private road, get yourself some Theta and Theta Fuel. Learn how to stake it. Learn how to secure your future. Go to RoadToRoo.com. Hit subscribe today. And um, join the private road. This is BitSquare. RoadToRoo.com. <laughs>